Here you have the screen. home screen, so it has all the applications you have. Like, this is not a final firmware version, so we don't have all the applications that would be available right now. Okay. But these are some of the applications. You can swipe through to a different subject, so all internet or multimedia. So I can click on to video, and it'll pull the video player. So these are the videos that are preloaded, so I can pull up the one right there. Is the Zoom Actually, like chronic Zoom or is it an actual like digital Zoom? Good question. So now it's streaming a, a video. Uh -huh. The screen resolution is 1024 by 600. And the screen size is 7 inches. So when you're within the application and you want to pull up the menu for the application, you swipe from the bezel top to bottom. So basically all controls, whether you want to switch between applications or tablets or, or whatsoever, you just control through the bezel. So right now, if I had a video application and I want to switch to another application, you can always touch the bezel from the side, like so, and it minimizes it. And you can swap through the different applications that way. You can also do it from the bottom up, like so, and it gives you a multi-view of all the applications that are currently running, plus you would have ability to open up another application. And it looks like everything runs live in the background right Correct. there. Correct. So I'll run a, I'll run a demo of a Quake 3 game. Yeah, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. So as you see, I'm streaming a demo video of the Quake 3 game. Um, this is actually a game that's been tested on the BlackBerry Playbook, and it runs almost at 60 frames per second. So if I go to the multi-view once again, you can see the demo's playing concurrently with the video at the same time, so it shows true multitasking. Um, there's no lag on either as well. Now you can shut it off and turn off the, the other application you want, but you're able to run all applications simultaneously. Okay. Here is the photo application. It does have a multiple capacitive touch screen as well as pixel zoom. So you set really the top cool. to the bottom, you can pull up to the different pictures and you can swipe through. So those are different pictures you have. That's pretty loaded. You also have your browser. That's a course that supports full flash. Um, you can also multi-browse and use multiple tabs. If you use the settings once again, top to bottom, and pull up the different tabs you have. So you can switch between the browsers you currently have. Cool. Now Click on the browser button, you pull up the keyboard itself, and let me pull up the website for you that runs Flash. So the reason why this is a website is because this is a website that runs true flat. Okay, I'll be right So it's something that most other tablets won't be able to do. But as you can see with this, it gives you a true in experience that you can experience from your own screen. So you'd be able to like play Hulu and stuff like that? Yeah, you can be able to Hulu, you can even go to Netflix. Oh wow. Um, another cool feature is like on Playbook or Facebook. You can log on, you can do Facebook chatting, you can even pull up the flash games like Farmville, Cafe World, Play those games on this as well. Wow. Great.